Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this of course is The Outer Worlds, and we are here today to talk about modifying weapons and armor in The Outer Worlds. So let's take a look here. First you need a workbench, and then of course you need a weapon or piece of armor and some mods. So if we take a look at our set of weapons here, we can see that here in our first tab we have a Tremor Cleaver and it does 74 DPS, and that is plasma damage. If we look right here, in the lower left of the icon for the weapon, we see two dots and this red circle. The two dots represent the fact that it can have up to two mods, and it's doing plasma damage. So this star-looking icon here for the telescoping staff is kinetic or ballistic damage. It is the default damage for, like, the assault rifle, the pistol, telescoping staff or your toss ball blocker but say we take this light pistol here which can have one mod we can see that by the one dot we press e to modify we see that we have a mag to zap modification which changes the damage type to shock we press e to install the mod say yes and now if we back out we can see our pistol is doing shock damage now, if we take a look at armor, we can see that armors can have, well, at least these armors can have up to four modifications. And if we press the E key, we can see that here we have a grounded mod. And here is where we sort through the different modifications. So we have armoring, gadget, skill kit, and utility. And we can add these to the armor, say Nightingale Step, to decrease noise or backpack to increase our carrying capacity by 20 kilograms. Now, along with just adding mods like this, as long as you have the skill, so if your character has the appropriate level in engineering, which I believe is 20 to tinker, although that might be adjusted because we have Parvati in our party. Parvati hanging out over there. Anyway, once you achieve the appropriate skill, you can tinker at the workbench. And what that allows you to do is basically exchange bits or your money for damage. So we could pay 118 bits by pressing the E key and raise our damage from 70 to 75 and we also are up to now 79 dps of plasma damage on this trevor tremor cleaver alrighty so the other things you can do in the workbench you can modify tinker you can repair armor and weapons and you can break things down so if you're looking to get some more weapon parts or you're looking to get more armor parts, you can break things down by simply pressing the E key. And occasionally, as you can see in the lower right there, we got a breakdown bonus and got an extra piece. Alrighty folks, this has been a look at how to modify and tinker with weapons in the outer worlds. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire. Most of all though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.